Good afternoon, everybody. My name is John Leach. I'm the Assistant General Secretary of the RMT. RMT sends its fraternal greetings to this gathering this afternoon from Mick Lynch and the entire national leadership as well as our 80,000 members. Today in London, there isn't a tube train moving. The reason why that's happening or not happening is because we are continuing the fight that we've been carrying on for the last 12 months in defence of our jobs, pensions and our contracts of employment. Tube workers kept London moving during the pandemic, as did every other critical worker in this country play their part in the national emergency. No sooner had we come out of that with TfL facing bankruptcy than we were faced with the dismal prospect of the staff pension fund being put on the table in a game of poker between the Mayor of London and the government over financing jobs and conditions. And we stood up then and we stood up now 12 months later and we're not having it. We're a fighting union that will use every ounce of energy and strength we've got to defend our members' terms and conditions. And that's what we've got in common with you here today. The NEU, the PCS, the doctors, other workers. This is the moment we've been waiting for. When all of us in our various sectors come together in a unified fashion and fight as one, as our class. So today in London there ain't a tube moving. But tomorrow in the UK there ain't going to be a train moving. Why? Because in a mirror image com copycat uh, scenario, we found ourselves coming out of the pandemic on the national railways with the employers, the government in reality, on a smash and grab raid for jobs, people's terms and conditions, and for a pay rise. In some cases, we haven't even had a pay rise for four years on the railways. And that's why my union, in the course of the last just under 12 months, has undertaken the largest dispute, the longest, most protracted dispute since we were formed in 1872. And you know what? We're going nowhere. We're in it till we win it. They've picked a fight with the wrong people. Like they've picked a fight with the wrong people with all of you. We learned by our experience 12 months ago when our entire membership on P&O ferries was sacked by email that we'd never be pushed around like that again. We'd be never caught with our guard down ever again. And that's why we will take this fight forwards tomorrow, on Saturday, when there's another national railway strike, and forward into the spring and into the summer, wherever it will take us. And just one final point, or one penultimate point, where I've just talked about railway workers, you can talk about all the other sections of our membership, cleaners in particular. Let's speak up for those members, the most vulnerable, low-paid, under-respected people in society, keeping Britain's trains and tube clean and safe, utterly disrespected and disregarded to the eternal shame of an industry that bleeds out of it £500 million a year clear profit. And that's another injustice we're doing something about. So to quote my General Secretary at the beginning of all of this, in a very early on interview, he said, we will not beg. And we ain't going to beg. We don't beg to no one. What we're going to do is what you're doing. Because we're going to stand shoulder to shoulder and fight. Fight and fight till we win and secure justice for everyone. Solidarity forever. <laughs>